Lisa and it's Monday at 4 o'clock and I'm in the car going somewhere with the sun in my eyes. <laughs> but we're still going to make this happen because it's Monday. Um, so what did I learn this week? Dang. Always so much. And it seems to be on this reoccurring theme for like the last, uh, I don't know, five weeks or so. Which is... Um, the inner child. So, I have been completely dedicated to paying attention to my inner child for a while now, and more and more so all the time through um, just mirror work and just really, really paying attention to my thoughts. And what I've realized is that there's a lot of layers under there that I wasn't quite um, aware of. So there's this uh, obvious layer of this louder voice that maybe isn't so nice in its self-talk, um, saying things like, you know, why did you do that? Or you should have done it better. Or, you know, what's wrong with you? Um, or maybe there's some harsher words going on. And then there's this other layer that's more subtle. And I kind of, I discovered this other layer through my triggers actually, and just kind of feeling into those triggers and what they made me feel like. And I realized that I was really judging myself for my feelings. And, um, you know, not like having those feelings of like depression or those feelings of I can't do this. Um, and just some of those learned behaviors, which are all just patterns and beliefs that we developed from being a kid. Um, but really judging myself for those patterns and those beliefs in sort of like an underlying kind of way and so what that awareness because awareness is the greatest alchemy that um that there is and that awareness just really allowed me to pay closer attention to how i was feeling and being um become even more gentle with my inner child and i literally have just been talking to myself like i'm just really small now it's like praising all the um, the little things that I do right whether it's good job like you got out of bed like because maybe I didn't want to or you know didn't feel like taking a shower or dressing up or you know maybe I used to I feel like I used to focus more on the things that I wasn't getting done or like oh my gosh you wasted so much time you could have had this done and you could have been doing this and now my self-talk is more like Oh, look what you did do. Like, good job, you finished that. And I keep those other thoughts out of my head because what we, um, what we focus on grows. So the more we have that self-talk of what we're not doing and how we're not measuring up and the things that we could be doing better and the programs that we're still running and all this other stuff is only going to attract more of that to us. The universe doesn't under work in like don't wants. It just knows where you're putting your energy and whatever you put your energy towards will grow. So, um, gotta hide the sun, the sun here. <laughs> um, and so I've been really focusing on putting my energy towards all the, all my wins, even if they're really small wins, like whatever project I'm working on or or if I handled the trigger well, um, or if I didn't, re you know, didn't react to something and I had self-awareness, like I just start really, I've been just praising myself for absolutely everything. And, and I really have felt a shift, a shift in me in just um, a small amount of time as far as my self-confidence. I feel less like worried about the future and more confident in the present just because of where I'm the shift in focus that I've made and this um, 
shift in the self-talk. So uh, focusing on the inner child, literally acting like you are, like you've got a two or three year old with you constantly. And how would you be talking to that two or three year old and just really, really paying attention to everything that you're saying to yourself. That's what I learned this week. So I hope you all have a great week and reach out to me if you have any questions. And I love you all. Marcus, Ian, Brianna, thanks for joining me. I will see you all next week.